Now here's the same pattern and all I've done is adjust the time to be out of sequence. So we can see here that the time is at 50 milliseconds. Well the frequency of this pattern is happening so fast that each one of those square waves overlaps each other and just turns into a blank page of dark graph. So what we'd have to do here is we'd have to make the machine look at the pattern faster. So there's a button on the machine that'll change time up and down and I'm going to start pressing it until we start getting a good pattern. So I'm going to increase the time or increase it to be faster. Now we're at 20 milliseconds, 10 milliseconds, 5 milliseconds, 2 milliseconds, and you see we're starting to get a picture. We'll bring it down again, 1 millisecond, and now we're at 500 microseconds. And you can see what happens when I start going faster, I start seeing l less of the pattern. So that means we'd want to go back up again. So we're going to bring the time back up. And I think we saw the best picture here at 500 microseconds. So the, I have the frequency turned up on this signal generator really fast. So I'm going to start turning the frequency down. And you can see what happens. How the pattern stretches out. So now we need to turn our time to slower and we'll get that pretty picture back in here again. So we can see how important it is for trigger to be in the right spot to be able to see the pattern and how when you get the wrong time sequence it messes up the pattern too. So let's change the voltage and let's see what happens here and you'll see how the pattern changes yet again. So we're going to uh, decrease the amount of voltage. And we're at 50 millivolts per division. Well, this is a 5 volt reference. We're not going to be able to see the top of the pattern. And when you get a pattern like this, you can say, well, geez, either I have the, I, I have the voltage set wrong, because all I'm seeing is just straight lines coming across. So let's bring that voltage back down at the same time. And you can see what happened at that last push of the button. I had actually brought it below the level of the cursor. So either we could, I mean the trigger, so either we could move the trigger or just change our voltage reading. But I think we'll just change our voltage reading back to where it was at one volt. So this will give you an idea of what you're seeing and how you need to use your time and your voltage and your trigger all in sync in order to get a nice picture of what you're trying to look at.